Today we're making a ribbed beanie without that weird and thick bunching at the top. And I will be using the Red Heart Super Saver yarn in the color Cafe Latte. And this yarn is 100% acrylic, but you can use cotton or wool also. I'll also be using a 5mm crochet hook, some scissors, and a yarn needle. To start off, we're going to make a slip knot. And to make a slip knot, lay the yarn over the palm of your hand. And then press down with your thumb to grip the yarn and make sure you leave a tail end about 5 inches that you can weave in later. And then grab the top of the yarn, wrap it around two fingers to form an X. And then grab your hook, go under one side of the X, and over and grab the other side of the X, pull the yarn through, remove your fingers, and tighten the knot. Now we're going to chain the vertical length of the beanie. So this is going to be the length of the folded brim plus from the length from the top of your eyebrows to the crown of your head. So to chain, yarn over and pull through. Again, yarn over and pull through. And then we'll continue chaining until we get the length that we want. And I wanted a length of about 28 centimeters. And I did a total of 46 chains. Then we're going to half double crochet starting in the second chain from the hook. So here is our first chain and here is our second chain. And to half double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain. And you can just go into that V and grab only the top loop. And then yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through the three loops on your hook. And that's a half double crochet. And again, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through the three loops on our hook. And we're going to stop when we have five chains left. And in these five chains, we're going to do slip stitches. And to do a slip stitch, Insert your hook into that chain, then yarn over and pull through, and pull that loop through the loop on your hook. Again, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through again. And then we'll do that until we reach the end of the chain for a total of 5 slip stitches. So as a recap for this first row, we did 40 half double crochets. And then we did five slip stitches. And the side with the slip stitches is going to be the top of the hat. And the side with the half double crochets is going to be the bottom. So to start row two, we're going to chain one and turn. And for every single row, we're going to do slip stitches on top of the slip stitches and half double crochets on top of the half double crochets. So since we're starting on the slip stitch side, we'll first do five slip stitches. And from now on, we're going to be working in the back loops only. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to do our first slip stitch of this row. So here's our chain one and here's our first stitch. And we're going to go in from the top into that V and only catch the back loop. Then we'll yarn over, pull through and pull through again. So that's a slip stitch in the back loop only. So again, insert your hook from the top and into the center of that V, yarn over, pull through, pull through again. So that's our second slip stitch in the back loop only. And we're going to do this three more times until we finish the five slip stitches. Once we do five slip stitches, we're going to do 40 half double crochets. And these will also be in the back loops only. So to do a half double crochet in the back loop, we'll yarn over, insert our hook into the back loop like we did with the slip stitches, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through our three loops. And then we'll do that all the way until the end. And always make sure that you don't miss the very last stitch of the row because it's kind of hard to see sometimes. Make sure that you work into that stitch or your work will start to slant. So now we're done with our second row, and at the end of every row, we're going to chain one and turn. 
and since we're starting on the side with half double crochets, we're going to start with 40 half double crochets in the back loops only. So we'll do those 40 half double crochets and once we reach the 5 slip stitches, we're going to do 5 slip stitches in the back loop only. And once we're done with that, we'll chain 1 turn and complete that same pattern over and over again. So now we're building up our rows and you want to continue making these rows until the half double crochet side can fit around your head without stretching it. So my head is about 53 centimeters around and I did a total of 54 rows. And this ended up fitting really nicely on me and I could have even done less because it's really stretchy. Once you're happy with the amount of rows that you have, we're going to line the brim and make it a little more straight. If you want to skip this part, you can just skip to where I show you how to attach both ends and form the hat shape. And I should have the timestamps in the description. So to line the brim, we're going to chain one and slip stitch all along the bottom. And you don't want to put too little or too many slip stitches because you don't want it to squeeze together or flare out. You want the end to be straight. And I put about three slip stitches per two rows. And once we're finished, we should have a straight edge like this. And now we can move on to slip stitching the ends together to form the hat. And since we slip stitched all the way across, we should be on the side with the 56 chains that we did in the very beginning. So first we'll slip stitch to the very first slip stitch that we did along the berm. So inch your hook under that V and then slip stitch both sides together. And then we'll insert a hook into the other side of the foundation chain. And then go over and insert your hook into the back loop on the other side. Then yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook. Then we'll go to the next stitch and keep slip stitching all the way across. And everything should line up nicely and once you reach the 5 slip stitches, you should be able to line those up together. And here is how the seam should look. And then here is the inside. And I actually prefer how the seam looks on this side, so I will make this the outside of my hat. And you can see how when we fold up the brim, the slip stitch lining that we did faces out, which is what we want. So now I'll turn it inside out and sew up the top of the hat. And now we can fasten off. So to fasten off, chain one, and then we're going to cut the yarn pretty long, just so we have enough yarn to weave along the top. So I cut off about a foot long. And then we're going to pull the yarn through with our hook and tighten that knot. And now we'll grab our yarn needle and thread the yarn into the needle. And we're just going to pull the yarn through the top along the side of the slip stitches and we're going to skip about every other row. And we're going to do that all the way around. Once you've thread through the entire circle once, we can now pull on the yarn and the hole should close up. And since our starting tail end is right here, we can tie them both together. And I do a double knot every single time. If you still end up with a small hole, then you can use the rest of your yarn and it go back over the hole and I just did a small X. And that was able to close up the hole nicely. And once again, I tied a double knot with the tail end from the very beginning. Now we can cut off the excess yarn. And here's how it should look once the hole on top is closed. And the last thing to do is to sew in our loose ends. To weave in the loose ends, you first want to flip your beanie inside out. 
So this side is going to be the inside of the beanie and I'm gonna hide the yarn ends on the inside so you can't see it when I wear the beanie. So we're going to thread the yarn into the needle and then we're going to weave back and forth under our stitches until we hide about half of the yarn. And then I'll turn around and I'll go back under those same stitches, but in the opposite direction. And if you have extra yarn and if you want to, you can go back again one more time just to make sure it's super secure. And once you're done weaving it in, just snip off the rest of the yarn. And you should just have two loose ends to weave in, so do this one more time for the other loose end and you should be finished. So here is the finished beanie and here is how it fits on my head. And since we did slip stitches on one side, it doesn't bunch up like other beanies would. If you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions at all. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.